This video will be for a 4 inch bolt hole circle using your Miltronics control. We'll be creating a conversational program. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit F8 for program, F2 conversational edit, and F2 new. Name your program. You can use either letters or numbers. You can program an inch or metric. And now we will define our stock size. So for this we'll say our workpiece is a 6 inch by 6 inch plate. X0, Y0 will be in the center. So our X minimum will be negative 3. Y minimum is negative 3. Z min we'll say that's the top of the plate at 0. Max would be 3. Y max would be 3. Z max, we have a one inch plate, so we'll have negative one inch. Now, our work coordinate, the drop down, select G54 through G59, we'll select 54. And if you want a subset, you can select that here. If you're using multiple work holding pieces, we'll just leave it at G54 for now. Hit F1 store. Next thing we want to do is call up a tool change. We'll use tool number one. We'll say it's a half inch drill. Program stop command. If you want to use one here, you can select program or optional. And then we'll give that tool a spindle speed and a direction. And if you want to use the coolant, you specify which one. Say flood. And now we'll hit store again. And now we'll use our bolt hole F4. Now in the bolt hole page, you have a few different options in the drop down menu drilling, boring, tapping. We'll say we're going to drill with the PEC cycle. Give your tool a Z pierce feed rate clearance position, a final Z depth, a first Z depth, each increment, PEC clearance, bolt hole center. On the left here it'll give you a little illustration of what they're asking. So our X center is 0, Y center is 0. Bolt hole radius, we'll say it's going to be 2 inches angle of the first hole. 3 o'clock would be 0, 12 o'clock would be 90, 9 o'clock would be 180. So we'll say our first hole is located at 0 degrees. 6 holes are going to be made and there are 6 holes in our circle. If you'd want to skip a certain hole due to a broken drill or a broken tap or some other situation you would just define which number hole it is here. If you want to skip hole number three, you say skip hole number three. We're going to drill a full circle so we won't skip any. Hit F1 store and our program is complete. Now we'll verify it with solid model graphics. We'll hit escape to get back to the main page. Up here in your status bar it tells you where you're at. We're at our main right now. F9 verify now you would select your program which is bolt circle F1 start and if you're on your machine you press cycle start right now I'm on my desktop so I'll hit alt and F6 and currently I'm in a wireframe view we're going to hit display auto and you can zoom in or zoom out. If you hit solid, it'll give you your solid model graphics. You can change your mode within your solid model graphics. Semi-transparent. Have some wireframe options. Semi-transparent. That shows your tool path. The green lines are feed rate. Red lines are rapid. You can rotate your part around orbit it, tilt it. 
can always go back to isometric. And right now it's going in a real time verification mode. So you can see up in your current position, your target position, the distance to go. And up in the top left corner it gives you a cycle time estimate. And that concludes our program.